still there are days when there is no way, not even a chance, that I dare for even a second glance at the reflection of my body in the mirror and she knows why. Like I know why she only cries when she feels like she's about to lose control. She knows how much control is worth, knows what a woman can lose when her power to move is taken away by a grip so thick with hate it could clip the wings of God, leave the next eight generations of your blood shaken, and tonight, something inside me is breaking. My heart beating so deep beneath the sheets of her pain, I could give every tear she's crying a year, a name, and a face I'd forever erase from her mind if I could, just like she would for me or you. But how much closer to free would any of us be if even a few of us forgot what too many women in this world cannot? And I'm thinking, what the hell would you tell your daughter? Your someday daughter, when you'd have to hold her beautiful face to the beat up face of this place that hasn't learned the meaning of stop. Stop. What would you tell your daughter of the womb raped empty? The eyes swollen shut, the gut too frightened to hold food, the thousands upon thousands of bodies used and abused. It was seven minutes of the worst kind of hell. Seven. And she stopped believing in heaven. Distrust became her law. Fear, her Bible. The only chance of survival, don't trust any of them. Bolt the doors to your home. Iron gate your windows. Walk into the car alone. Get the keys in the lock. Please, 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 please open. Like already you can feel that five-figure noose around your neck. 200 pounds of hatred and engraved into the sacred soil of your flesh. Please, 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 please open. Already you're choking for your breath, listening for the broken record of the defense. Answer the question, answer the question, answer the question. Miss, why am I on trial for this? Would you talk to your sister, your daughter, your mother like this? I am generations of sisters, daughters, mothers, our bodies, battlefields, war grounds beneath the weapons of your brother's hands. You know they found landmines and broken women's souls, black holes in the parts of their hearts that once sang symphonies of creation, bright as a light on infinity's halo. She says, I remember the way love used to glow on my skin before he made his way in. Every touch feels like a sin that could crucify Medusa. Call the Oshun, Mary, bury me in a blue blanket so that God doesn't know I'm a girl. Cut off my curls, I want peace when I'm dead. Her friend knocks at the door, it's been three weeks, don't you think it's time you got out of bed? No. The ceiling fan still feels like his breath. I think I need just a couple more days of rest. Please, bruises on her knees from praying to forget. She's heard stories of Vietnam vets who can still feel the tingling of their amputated limbs. She's wondering how many women are walking around this world feeling the tingling of their amputated wings, remembering what it was to fly, to sing tonight. She's not wondering what she would tell her daughter. She knows what she would tell her daughter. She'd ask her, what gods do you believe in? I'll build you a temple of mirrors so you can see them. Pick the brightest star you've ever wished on. I'll show you the light in you that made that wish come true tonight. She's not asking you what you would tell your daughter. She's life deep in the hell the slaughter. Has already died a thousand deaths with every unsteady breath. A thousand graves in every pore of her flesh and she knows the war's not over. Knows it's bleeding to come. Knows she's far from the only woman a girl trusting this world no more than the hands trust rusted barbed wire. She was whole before that night. Believed in heaven before that night and she's not the only one. She knows she won't be the only one. She's not asking what you're going to tell your daughter. She's asking what you're going to teach your son.